Hey guys, it's so good to guys see you guys back here. Um, the Nashtastic duo is together again. Oh yeah. So it's our second episode, and last time we kind of talked to you about, um, Christy gave us such great tips about the loan process and things of that nature. And so we just were sitting here talking about the last couple of days, our own experience, because we mm -hmm. both just bought a home. Yep, exciting. And yeah, very exciting. Sometimes nerve wracking. Totally. <laughs> um, we both have had experiences. And so what we like to call this episode is, we're, we're just, just like, like you. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we yes. are human. We both just bought a home. Um, Krista we, and her yeah. fiance just bought a home. <laughs> Me and my husband just bought a home. And there's a lot of things that you need to know, but also know that we're just like you. Yes. So that's we've what we call it. Too. Yeah, we've, we've been through it. And so this is the kind of our way, the all of it, <laughs> uh, the anxiety, the, the drama, stress. yeah, and the paperwork. So mm -hmm. I think that's what we should talk about first is the paperwork. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So what are some of the same things that we had to do going into the process yep. for the loan side? And then yeah. I'll talk about the offers and all that other good stuff. So normally for anyone, even us, we have to get pre-approved to make sure that we can even, you know, get financing for a home since sure. we didn't have, you know, yes! just to buy it outright, um, which a lot of people don't. Right. And that's not a problem. That's why you have us as loan officers to help you with the financing. Um, so with that, you we also had to give, you know, bank statements, mm -hmm. pay stubs, um, you know, identification, we had to have our credit pulled, you know, pretty much everything that you as a consumer will go through, we went through. Absolutely. Too. No matter what it was, even in like underwriting conditions that come up, we still have to provide that information. For sure. Because you know, we're humans, you know, we have a past. Yes. No matter what it is. <laughs> yes. Skeletons in the closet. Exactly. Like, All coming out. Yeah. So we pretty much have to do the same thing that you guys Absolutely. did. Absolutely. And I think that's what's really important is that I would say the only difference is we knew what to expect. And if you have a good... To an extent. To an extent. Right. <laughs> to an extent. There's always something that comes There's up. always like, something. Oh, yeah. They're like, wait, but we need this. Yep. But the cool thing is, is if you have a good loan officer, if you have a good realtor, they're yep. going to they're gonna check with the loan officer and make sure you have everything up front so that they're you're not waiting. Yeah. They're going to work as a team. They're not going to... They want you to get your house. They want you to close on time if possible. Um, all that. And yep. to like exceed your expectations. Exactly. So if they're great, if they're like us, yeah. then they're going to prepare you early. Yep. So We're after work with you too. Absolutely. So after that, then we go and we look for the home of our dreams. Mm -hmm. And again, we're just like you. Yep. Um, I think I remember going and me and Kelly, we were like looking for houses. And even though we have the key to houses, um, we still had to be on schedule because yep. looking at some homes, you have to make an appointment. Exactly. Do you guys experience that too? Absolutely. And so one of the things that was, it was the same for this house. Like we mm -hmm. really were like waiting and they were going to have an open house the next day. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to like get in <laughs> and check it out. So we made our appointment just like you. Yep. And then we got in and we came in. And I think one of the bigger things and important things is when you're looking for a house is finding things that you can compromise on. Absolutely. You're never going to find the most perfect house. Yep. And so tell me kind of what were some of the things that you guys had to compromise on? Yeah. So Nick, uh, my fiance and I, we had similar likes, but then we also had our own, you know, views of what the perfect house would be. Absolutely. Um, he was dead set on a two car garage and I agreed <laughs> with him. You know, we both have cars yeah. and he wants to have toys and fun guys on the side. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I can't take that away from him. Right. It's his house too. So we both agreed that it had to be a two car garage. Um, we wanted a nice, you know, fenced in backyard, mm -hmm. which we got. I got my she shed. <laughs> yes. So I'm happy. Yes. yes. So he has his garage. I have my space and my she shed. You know, that will be another project that I'll probably do a do it yourself kind I of like thing. I like it. Uh, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Um, but they were like the bathroom too, mm -hmm. you know, the master bath. See, we're from Connecticut. And yeah. In those type of homes, it was very rare to find a master bath or, you know, a three bedroom, two bath for, you know, under $200,000. We got our home, you know, for 140. So yes. it's like it's great living in South Carolina. Yeah. yeah. So it, there was a lot more to offer. So we were able to be a little bit picky if we wanted to be. Yeah. But at the same time, we still had to sacrifice yeah. and compromise. And one of the things I had to compromise on was a garden tub. But I still got a master bath, so I can't really complain. Yeah, seriously. It's <laughs> so, a beautiful home. Like, I absolutely love it. It's so funny because my husband's from Connecticut, and they shared the last name. They're not related. We're it's not so related. weird. Yeah. 
But he's from Connecticut, and what he wanted was a massive shower. And so mm -hmm. I had, like, done all the Pinterest thing. I was like, we got to write down what we want so we yeah. know going in. Mm -hmm. He did not write down anything. And so what did he get? A miniature shower. Mm -hmm. But we did get a garden tub. So yeah. maybe you guys can switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we yeah. were talking about um, just all of the stuff, like, you know, with that. Then you put in your offer. Yes, and the waiting time frame. <sighs> Dramatic pause. Yes. It's like, you know, if you like it, then you better put an offer on it. Cue yeah. the Beyonce music because that's important like <laughs> this market is crazy is. and houses are going fast so you don't have a lot of time to like and we have the same pickings that you guys absolutely do too. we don't have like same. a separate market there's not a secret no. society of houses that you know nothing about and if you know <laughs> then let us know yeah exactly <laughs> we want to be in that group yeah totally. <laughs> yes so we have to put in our offer yep. we have to wait um you know we put in our we offer the same milestone. yeah this is it's the same the same feeling the waiting mm -hmm. um but then once you get that offer accepted it's, it's a like party. Game on. Yeah, it's a party. <laughs> or if you're like my husband, you're like, Ray, yeah. just very calm. Yep. Don't now what? That. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now what do we do? And yeah. that was what brings us next. But before yep. we go, now what do we do? Can you tell us about this? Absolutely. <laughs> so this right here is a nice mocktail yes. per se. Um, it's just one ingredient, which it looks more fancy than that. But it's the ice drink, the cherry limeade. I just put it over ice. I threw some frozen blackberries in it. I rimmed it with honey, which you can see it's dripping a little. Ooh. And then I just added some sugar on the rim just to give it a little more pop. I love it. Yeah. This is perfect for Memorial Day. Totally. I mean, the straws. And... There it is. Yeah. So after you guys, make sure that you stay tuned to the very end. Otherwise, you don't get this recipe. It's called the American Mocktail. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love it. Just came up with to it. go along with the American <laughs> dream. <laughs> yes, I love it. You're so smart. I just love it. I it just comes to me. Yes, it does. Once in a yeah, while. I mean, all the time. Like, yeah. So this is great. So guys, stay tuned for this, the American mm -hmm. mocktail at the end of the show. Yep. Um, it'll be there for you so you can make this while all your friends and hopefully Absolutely. in your new home if you go through mm -hmm. all of this stuff that we're talking about now. Absolutely. So the next thing after you put in your offer and your offer is accepted, there is a host of things yes. and inspections mm -hmm. and all kinds of things that you have to consider that I think a lot of people just going into home Upfront think costs. you don't you have don't. to pay anything yeah. wrong. Mm -hmm. Can you clear totally that up for us? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And as a real estate agent too, correct me on anything yeah, you know, for sure. that I miss or forget. Yeah. Um, but usually um, before you get to the actual like closing, obviously there's other things that have to take place in order to make sure that the home is stable, mm -hmm. you know, the appraisal goes through at the right market value, stuff like that. So first off is home inspections. So you got yes. to schedule home inspections. You have to pay for it before they yes. even do it. Um, there's HVAC inspections. Yes. There might be termite inspections that you have to check with, you know, your realtor yeah. on. Which we um, suggest always getting yes. all of them. Yeah. Um, you know, we actually, my company actually makes people sign a waiver because we don't want you to have that buyer's remorse. Um, and we want you to be yeah. informed going into that decision. So uh, you want it like a second thought. Exactly. It's, it's right. There. You, you want to know what it. you're dealing with before going into yeah. the house. Absolutely. And down here, the, the pests yes. are. Yes. Not fun. Exactly. <laughs> I've seen bugs bigger than I've ever seen before. She has no idea. But, you know, little, little it's only just begun. And, yeah. The yes. <laughs> so I try to keep a blind eye and not pay attention. Yes. And just go about my day. But um. So yeah. So those are a few, and then comes the appraisal. Yeah. You know, and I think you have to check. I always make sure I check with the agents yes. before telling my processing team. To go ahead and order the appraisal because sometimes there's some type of hold up or yes. a time frame and you just want to make sure that everything goes through and with the market being so busy i've had where you know um, i've ordered appraisals you know mm -hmm. we've gotten appraisals to order and they're so busy especially yeah. with like VA. they usually take they're, they're given 10 days yeah. to leave yeah. but um you know it's sometimes you it's like right on the wire so yeah. yeah i'm with you definitely if they order it early yeah, and being an appraiser, you're not really supposed to contact them. Yeah, and exactly. You can't say anything. <laughs> you have to wait for it to come in and just let them kind of do it. They are their own do. secret society. Seriously. I might become a... I know, <laughs> seriously. How do you get in that club? Where's the bag? Right? Where's the bag? Where's the ticket yeah. to the party? Where's the ticket to the party? <laughs> yes. So, yeah, so those are some things to keep in mind before, you know, even house shopping. Because you do have to pay things up yeah. front, unfortunately. You know, yeah. it's, it, buying a home is not cheap. 
nor is it free. Yeah. So. And that's a good indicator. If you don't have the upfront cost, then you may want to wait and save up for that oh, so that you are. We didn't even say work. the earnest money deposit. Oh, can we talk yeah, about that? Yeah, so that's like yeah. un, n numero uno yes, when it comes sure. to a contract, too, because a lot of sellers don't want to have a contract submitted yeah. without seeing. Absolutely. The, we won't. The, the <laughs> I tell you, yeah. we won't. <laughs> yeah, it's very rare that you're going to find someone yeah. that accepts a contract. I've never heard of it happening. <laughs> or an offer without having the earnest yeah. money. Yeah. So. And that's just basically saying that I really want this house and that. Um, it shows you're serious. Yeah, it's your good and faith. You're able to do it. Right. You're, it's your good faith that mm -hmm. I'm going to see this to the end um, as much as possible. So, and yeah. it won't be something that you did that didn't keep this from happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that earnest money can vary. It depends on the deal. I mean, um, I yes. think the minimum I've ever seen is 500, but right. it can go on up to 2,500. It just depends on the house. It depends on the yeah. market. It depends on the deal. Um, yeah. So and don't go into it. Negotiate, yeah, absolutely. You know? Like, yep. don't go into it thinking that oh i'm just uh, just gonna pay five hundred dollars like that's take it to the party it's not necessarily yeah, it, depends it, could, on the it could depend yeah so just kind of um know that going up front is that you are going to have those costs i think are you know a big thing yeah and we had to pay them too just like so you. Have to yeah just like you just like you so mm -hmm. um i think what are the, some of the other things that you can think of so after we go through all that we've done you know all of our appraisals we've mm -hmm. done all of our things that you know that are in that then we get closer to closing. Yep. So basically it's on, I guess, the financing side mm -hmm. um, to come back to the consumers and say, hey, um, so there's certain things maybe have uh, to do with your yeah. credit report or there's certain things that have to do with your income mm -hmm. or your living history that will come up as like a condition and they'll send that list to you and it's your job to get that information to them as soon as possible so that you don't delay any type of closings. And then, of course, the closing disclosures that you're going to have to review and make sure that everything matches, yes. you know, if, you know, the lender's giving you some type of credit or, you know, you got to make sure the rate's right, you know, all of that ties into it. And then, of course, you know, the other fees, you know, mm -hmm. title, yep. um, closing attorney fees, those are things that you can shop for and that your lender or agent yeah. can give you references to as well if you don't, you know, know someone off the top of your head. Absolutely. Not a lot of people do, especially not being in the industry. Um and yeah. your agent will walk you through it too. Like if you if you if you have a really good agent, one they're going to understand that whole closing the yep. closure just state the closing statement, mm -hmm. um, and show you how to read it um, and understand it. And if you have any questions, yes. don't hesitate to ask. If a number looks off, ask. Like that's Even the if biggest it's a dollar. thing. Yeah, you want to ask, and you want to ask questions in the closing. Like, if, mm -hmm. if there's something that you see um, while you're sitting at the table and the attorney's like, okay, well, here. You know, because I've had it where, you know, we yeah. get to the end and maybe there's, like, a closing statement. And there might be, like, something, one thing that could be off. Yep. And you want to make sure that you get that corrected for you yep. and your buyer. So Exactly. For you and your, yeah, that's me, my case. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it's, no, it's, You want to make sure that everybody mm -hmm. is on the same page. Um and you'll get the closing disclosures at least three days. Yeah, prior. and that's like now law, so yeah. you have to be able to view it for three days prior to going to closing. And that's I think that's new since October two thousand fifteen. Yeah, um, is that that's a mandatory three days. So yeah. that way you have time to review it and get it back before closing. Right. And that way everything matches up, and yeah. then the attorneys make sure that their fees match up, and it's just a whole bunch of stuff. I think that that's probably the uh, the biggest and most overwhelming part is that that closing statement yeah. because it's a lot of numbers coming at you mm -hmm. and it's like, well, this goes to the borrower or this goes yeah. to cuz it's and separated it's down yeah into, into two, two parts, problems. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you need to be concerned about both parts, but definitely yep. um, cash from buyer. <laughs> yes. It's, yes. It's, it's huge. That is your part. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then I think also like um, with wiring um, money, like, you yep. know, um, there's a lot of wire fraud. So we have you sign disclosures, mm -hmm. um, looking for scams. You. Yeah. Things like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and making sure that you, however your closing attorney requires yeah. that your funds be sent, you, mm -hmm. that you do it that way and not any other way. And usually it's a day before yep. closing. They want you to wire it over. That way there's no hiccups no problems. or exactly. delays. They have exactly. it there in their account and then they can move it however they Absolutely. see fit. Um, for the closing process. Yes! yes! We're trying to help you with the American dream. Exactly. And here's your American dream. dream. Oh, you said it. You said <laughs> it. Cheers to that. Cheers yes. to that. Oh, let's see how delicious it is. Mm. Just as I imagined. Yes. It's actually even it's better. It's crisp and fruity. Oh, my gosh. Mm. So, we'll really give good. you... The recipe, because we're that kind of people. Yeah. We don't want you to just have your home share. dreams. We want you to have your drink dreams. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that was not rehearsed. I know, way. totally not rehearsed. <laughs> None of this show is rehearsed. No, we just come up is, with like what we want you guys to feel we're that. Just having a conversation. Again, we're just like you, yeah, and a conversation mm -hmm. to make it easier for the home buying process because it's 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 rough out there. It's tough, it and so we, we get want it. To, yeah, we get yeah. it. So we're gonna share things that, with you about our own personal experiences. Um, Krista's engaged. I just got married. So there's a lot of like. <laughs> things that you know we can hopefully help you avoid as far as pitfalls go and um, compromising. I think what's so really cool is yep. that they are doing that couples project that they, they're, they're working on mm -hmm. and we get to follow their journey. Yes. Yep. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> so stay tuned. So whether you're here for the drinks, mm -hmm. you're here for us or for the information, absolutely. come back for all of it, okay? It's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys, thank you for joining us and yeah. uh, hope you got something out of this one and we'll be planning for the next one. So stay tuned. Thanks.